Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave today. I've had a couple of days rest, as you can see I'm looking a bit scruffy. The head's looking good though, feels great after that shave with the R1 again. It was an amazing shave with that. But I'm going for a new soap and a new brush today. Now the soap I spoke about on my unboxing and it looks like this. I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. All I will say is it's a tallow based soap. Now the one that I lathered up actually had essential oil on top of the soap so it was just to give an idea of what the scent would be like of the soap once it's done. This is a pretty much an unscented soap. I still got a little bit of the, the grapefruit. I actually test lathered this pretty much as soon as I got it so I've taken that top layer of oil off there so hopefully I'll get a better lather. The lather that I got was just ever so slightly airy but it was still very thick, creamy, dense and glossy so I'm looking forward to this and I'm the only person that's used this other than the gentleman that's actually making this soap so it's, a, it's actually quite a pleasant scent for an unscented soap and like I say there's a little bit of grapefruit oil just still on there he does use food grade essential oils I think he said high quality ones as well which is nice uh, there's a lot of soap makers out there that I think use cheaper oils and I'm brutally honest with you I think that's the ones I normally react to so Razor Rock soaps, I think a lot of them are cheap because they use cheap oils. They use cheap oils, I think that's why I react to them. And it's happened a few times with other soaps. Now, I'm not saying that's the same with K Shave Works and, and other soaps that I've reacted to, but it could be something to do with it. But it smells good. Now, the brush I'm going to be using was the brush I used to test lather it, which is the Rocket, the Atomic Rocket 26mm Synth from Phoenix Shaving or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now, the knot feels quite nice when I test lathered it on my hand. The glue bump does come very, very high. The glue bump's up to about here. So if you can see where I'm sort of pointing there, so it's up to there. Now, one thing, it's not a very dense knot. It, it's, in fact, it's quite not dense. Quite not dense. Undense, I don't know. It's not a dense, dense knot compared to like a tuxedo knot or something like that. It is still reasonably dense, but one thing I've noticed with it is it's I don't think you'll see it, that's the problem. Now when I look into that knot, it looks hollow, it looks almost like, I mean I can, I can put my finger into it very easily, it's not, there's no real, I mean there's plenty of backbone there, but yeah, uh, people say they love this knot, I'm about to try it with the first hair, I'm not sure what one it is, but I do love a synthetic knot, and as synthetic knots go, I don't have one in my den which actually looks like this. So I'm quite happy with that. It's a massive knot, massive handle, sorry, it's huge. Big knot, big handle. Well, let's load up this soap. So it's been sitting drying actually for about the last half hour, 40 minutes. I wasn't going to have a shave today, but do you know what? I just fancy having one with this soap and giving it a run out and hopefully it works well. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to load it heavy because that way I've got much less chance of failure, of actual user failure. Not so much soap failure, but user failure. So I'm going to load it heavy. It's a very thirsty soap. I know we'll start when I test lathered it, so I'm looking forward to it. It was very slick in my fingers. It was creamy, it was dense, it was glossy. So it's got all the attributes of a good soap. And even more so, it is an Australian artisan. Or oh, soon to be new Australian artisan, possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows, it would be nice. I don't think we've got enough over in Australia in my, my opinion and it's nice to see other people. I thought about it myself but I don't personally think I've got, I mean it is slick stuff. I'm trying to rub it off in the water mate, it's quite difficult to get it off your hands. I noticed that when I was washing it off earlier. Right, let's wet the face. So it's a tallow base so I've got no idea what else is, is in here. I know it's quite a high fat content. so. That's why I think it's taking a lot of water on. So there's the loaded brush, and here we go. It's a, quite a comfortable handle to use, even though it's huge. So the other soap that I got in the mail call, they're actually both the exact same, just one had some essential oil just put on top of it, just for the scent. And it smells, even this now with a very minimal amount of essential oil smells very much like grapefruit and menthol from OSP soaps. 
Right, so that's the load painted on. The brush is really thick with soap, so I'm just going to start painting the water in as I normally do. I'm not going to change my technique for the soap at all, I'm just going to do what I normally do with it. It works really well for me and it's actually working well for others out there, thankfully, so just giving my little bit back, I think. I've learned so much from people on YouTube and so much from people on the forums and on Facebook and So this brush was very, very kindly sent to me from Ivy Chapel over in New York. I posted over my Oleo Soapworks complete set, which, I'm, if I'm totally honest, I'm a bit disappointed with us. The scent just doesn't do it for me. I sprayed a little bit of the EDT, and it's, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't like the scent of it. And it, it smells like without my... Uh, I can't put my finger on it. I, it. I can't even really detect what's in it. Now, I was expecting a lovely sort of nice cologne scent. And don't get me wrong, it's got great longevity. It'll, that'll last a while, that scent, on my wrist. But when I sprayed it on, it smelled the exact same when I put it on as it does now. It doesn't smell any different as well. So I'm, I'm not sure whether it's just one hit of the, the whole scent's there the whole time or whether it actually progresses into something later. We'll see what it smells like later on, but at this stage, I'm not... I'm in two minds not to even use it, unfortunately. Because I, I don't think I'm going to enjoy the scent. And I don't want to use the soap and not enjoy the scent. So I'm thinking of even possibly just selling it straight on. Frankie and Myrna is far superior in my opinion, the actual scent itself. It smells beautiful. This one just doesn't do it for me, unfortunately. And I was quite disappointed, I have to say. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a cheap set to get in the first place, and then with the shipping and everything, it, it, it was close to 100 US dollars. So I'm a little bit down with it. And it's had great reviews, so it's not a, I don't think, it's not a performance thing. I've used the duck soap, and I think it's incredible stuff, and I'm so glad that she sent Frankie and Myrna now, because I've, I know what I'm, I know what the soap's going to perform like. But just to say, this lather's beautiful, by the way, I shouldn't really be talking about other people when I'm doing this lather up. But, yeah, just, that I was quite disappointed, and I'm disappointed for Vida, for me, because she's such a lovely woman, and she's put so much effort into that scent and that, that set and her first EDT and one of her first splashes as well I think and it just didn't hit the mark for me with the scent and I don't want to use it because I don't think I'm going to enjoy it and I don't want to really give a review based on a scent that I really don't like because even though the performance might be exceptional look at this ladder holy shit this is good stuff <laughs> really thick stuff I mean, I could work that with more water, but I'm going to try it this time, sort of try it. It's very glossy, it's very, very dense. So, let's just see what it's like a little bit dry. This isn't... Oh, do you know what? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to just have a couple more dips. Let's try and get it nearer how I would normally actually have the ladder. Tell you what, lathers that treat this brush. That's better, just that two dips has made a difference straight away. So, as I was saying, tallow based soap, new artisan, or oh, soon to be, hopefully. If this shave's as good as it's lathered, I tell you what, he's, he's going to do well. At this stage, I'm pretty sure it's a one man band. I'm not sure whether his wife involved in it with him? I would probably say no, because 
there's very few wives out there that are even remotely interested in a shaving hobby. Very, very good lather, very easy to lather. Right, Rockwell 6C, the new one that's just been sent out to me. I've got the feather blade in it that I used in my last shave with the 6C, so it'll be the second use. And let's just see how it feels, plate number three. I've got two days growth. That's slick. Really slick and it's leaving a good thick coating behind. I mean you can see how dense that lather is. You can see the gloss on it as well. No, I actually bumped into the gentleman that makes this soap through a, a sale on Facebook, sold some soaps which he picked up and then he asked me if I was who I am because he watches the channel and he just asked if he could send a couple of soaps and just for me to try and I tell you what, I'm glad he did because this stuff is good I mean, that's that is super slick. This blade is shit. Just just give me a minute up. Freaking feather blades, I tell you what, one shave and I done it actually annoys me because they're so expensive, yet yeah, a Kai blade I can use for 10 shaves and, and it still shaves better than that on the second one. The dreadful blades for that, for longevity. I'm just going to switch, just going to switch that out for a brand spanking new. Persona. Med prep, it is a med prep I'm sure it is. Big difference with the razor, you can feel it straight away both sides of this razor now are oh, sharp or oh, have the same feeling on them. Now, I'm not sure how many iterations of this soap there is, or how long it took him to find this formula, figure out how much fat to put in there, how much whatever else is in it. I don't actually know the full set of ingredients. I should really have asked because I could be putting battery acid on my face, but <laughs> we do sort of trust those in the same community as you. feels like a very very slick protective soap. And okay, that's just gliding over my skin. It does leave up, I can feel it, I can feel that sort of protection. Very similar to, do you know, it's very similar to Holy Call. That's even the, the lather density just feels lovely. I'm just going to wipe this handle off. See, I'm surprised with this massive handle and yet it's leaking everywhere. Here we go. Yeah, it's got a beautiful silky feel on your skin, which is something that I get from Holy Call. Just 
just going to dip the tips. Yeah, really, really impressed with that lather. I know that's a bit thinner, I haven't really built it up much, but I can feel it's there, I can feel it's a good thick creamy lather. It's not dissipating at all. It actually smells really nice, even with that very mild grapefruit essential oil that's left over on it. It's a cold water shave as well, with no prep. I feel like I can do that all day. The slickness is just phenomenal, it really just glides. You, you've really done a good job with this soap base, I have to say. In my opinion, if you handed me that and it was sent to you like a, like your holy cause embarrassing a man, and I used that, I, I, I would say it's up there and it was probably made by them, it's, it's good stuff. Yeah, I mean you can probably see, when I just dip my fingers on there and put that on, you can see the shine on my face. It's leaving a beautiful layer of soap after you, you actually put the razor over. Now it's a very thirsty soap. I could have gone and added even more water to it quite comfortably and it would have taken it easily. I spent quite a long time doing that test lather. I mean, this is, it's just so slick. Oh. Right in my eye, it's brilliant. But because of the, the density of the lather, It gives you great protection as well. It's a really good soap. And you can see this brush is just caked. And it does smell nice. I know this one's just got a little bit of essential oil on top just to give that effect of what it would be like opening up the, the full soap. That's, that's impressive stuff, it really is. It needs more water. Yeah, I think you'd be hard pressed to not enjoy this soap. In fact if you didn't enjoy it I'd be very surprised anyone other than people that don't use table based soaps and prefer vegan formulas or vegetal formulas. I'm not sure at this stage if that's something that he's looking into going that down that road as well but I suppose you've got to perfect one thing at a time you can't do it all in a one hit. But this stuff is exceptional soap. It really is really top notch stuff. Now what really excites me about this 
is this artisan or hopefully soon to be artisan because I would buy his stuff. It's from Western Australia, which is great because we don't have any artisans. So I believe this would be our first one. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it's our first one ever. I don't know if we've ever had an artisan in Western Australia. I haven't been in white shaving long enough to really know the history. But that is just exceptional. I mean, this brush is caked, absolutely caked. You don't need a big load on it, definitely not. I have overloaded for the main reason of this shave itself. But This to me feels as good as the Australian Private Reserve. Now the other thing I like about this is when he does make the salts with the scents in it, if he goes the full hog and does it, they're going to be high quality essential oils. Well, I cut my lip there and I think I might still have, I might just not all bled out yet. That's nothing to do with the soap that was used earlier, I pushed a little bit hard for some reason when I was going over my lips there. Protective soaps I've used. And it comes from a guy who lives just up the road from me. <laughs> yeah, I've cut my bloody look. What a dick. Like I say, that's nothing to do with this soap. <laughs> that's just user error. Easily shave my whole face again just like that. Easily. Really impressed with this soap. I think you've done yourself proud, mate, to see the amount of high quality artisans out there. And I'm, I'm putting you up there with your holy cause and Barrister and Man, Wickham, Sterling. You're up there with them, Australian Private Reserve. This is really good soap base. If you get your sense right, you're really on your winner, in my opinion. I really do believe that. Really impressed. Now, I've got a slight tingle on my skin, but I honestly believe I think it's because I put pretty much straight essential oils on my skin. I don't know. It's good. I did test lather this before, so I got pretty much all the oil off the top of the soap. You do have to be careful with essential oils if you overdo it. So, bullshit. How does it feel? It feels very moisturised. I'm just gonna let that just dry a little bit. I'm not gonna put any any witch hazel on you and what I'll do as well that's just drying naturally. Oh, maybe I cut my lip, what a dick. I'm just going to rinse out this brush which is just chock a spool of The brush performed extremely well, I was quite surprised that I 
didn't think I was going to be a fan of the note, if I'm honest. I didn't think I would enjoy the note that much. It looks a bit, a bit, you know, dense. <laughs> but it's not, it's lovely. The display is very nice. There's no scratch or anything from it. There's no, just a quite a nice scrub. It covers a lot of your face. It's a big old knot. The hand is very comfortable to hold. Uh, you can probably see now what I'm talking about. Can, can you see where that's all sort of... It's not densely packed all along. Now this is... I pretty much get most of the moisture out flicking there. There's no soap left in there, I don't think. I'm just going to give this a good dry. It's still like that. That's what it looked like. Can I get, get it in the light? No, I can't really show it too much when it's dried over, but I can see it when I'm looking at it. It looks quite right in the centre. Like there's less hairs than there is on the outside. Right, let's just have a look. Well, that's a, a very, very close shave. My skin feels, I don't know whether you can hear that. It was very moisturised, but I am just going to put a bit of Thayer's on. Not Thayer's today, I'm going Humphreys today. Humphreys Citrus to go with the grapefruit scent. Of the soap, which is very light, that's not a super strong scent. Now one thing I will say, I think my skin may be feeling a little bit raw, because that feather blade when I started out was awful. I don't know why I continued with it over those first bits. I could feel the soap was so protective, I think that's why I was continuing with it. But that's turned into a great shave. A great shave from a really, really huge soap. And I'm, I'm actually quite excited about it, if I'm honest. I'm excited to have someone, if, if he starts it up, have someone in my neck of the woods. The 6C was far superior today. I could actually feel both sides of the this being cleaner and it wasn't like I was getting one mild side and one slightly more aggressive side so I'm really happy with that as well. So it's a couple of really big positives, or three big positives because the brush was really, really good to use as well. But the silk, the silk's definitely what stood out to the initiate. And let's see, I'm quite excited about it. I still smell the grapefruit in there. I think there is a very slight amount of grapefruit in the actual soap itself, but that's what the soap looks like. It is quite hard. It is very slick. It's got a really high fat content from what I'm told. It'll be interesting to find out what the rest of the ingredients are. So I'll probably find that out and I might actually pop them down below, which I don't normally do, but I'll do that anyway. And I'm really impressed. Massive thumbs up from me, I've got to say. I'd love that in a scent that I really enjoy and I would that would be one of my go-to soaps. It would be my top drawer with all my favourite soaps, definitely. Just based on performance alone, it, it's really good, but the scents need to be good for me because I'm quite picky now. I, I'm quite disappointed with the oleo soap works scent, so I'm quite gutted by that, but big positives have come out of that one, so I'm still a happy man, definitely. Thanks very much for sending it down. I'm going to give it a few more goes, I'm going to definitely use it on my head because it's got a lot of slickness in there which I really enjoy using on my head because I need residual slickness when I'm doing other bits and bobs touching up at the end so that's got the potential to be a really high performance soap on the market along with all the best or the better soaps that are out there. There's no bad artisan anymore in my opinion but there are ones that are just slightly ahead and Holy Cow took out my top spot last year and they're still my top performing soap but I tell you what, that ain't far away. A few uh, is uh, it's really good. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you guys with that a uh, little bit of food for thought that there might be something new coming on the market. I know there's a lot out there, but it's just nice for me to have another uh, Australian artisan possibly coming along. And if he gets his scent right in these soaps, I think it'll do really well. Well, that guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly really enjoyed it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.